Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Leadnap Gaming. Star Citizen Patch 313 is going live, and with it, the ability to dock snubs to their host ships. Now this currently only affects the Constellation series of ships and their Merlin snubs. However, in the future we'll probably see more snub fighters attached to ships because this seems to be a pretty successful method. And this is also the precursor for ship to station docking, which will probably use the same mechanics. Now, this is one of those things that it's really easy, and when I tell you how to do it, you're going to be like, well, duh. But if, like me, no one told you how to do it, and you went back, got in the snub, and then couldn't figure out how to get out, well, yeah, that's that. So, before you head to your snub, if you're on the ship by yourself, and I did a bunch of testing on this, you're supposed to be able to do it by yourself, and you can, but there's one thing you should know ahead of time. Turn off the engines of the ship. So if you're flying by yourself on a Connie, turn the engines off. Because as I found out, if you don't, the moment you undock, your ship rockets to full power. And then you're trying to dock into a moving ship. It also appears that, best I can tell so far, you can't dock to a moving ship. The ship, the host ship has to be stopped. Uh, hopefully that'll change a little bit, though I'll tell you it's a lot harder to dock to something you're not. So, once you get into the ship, which you've been able to do now for a long time, in order to undock from your host ship, just simply press N. Now again, the engines do have to be on. Ta-da! It's that simple. The ship disconnects, drops back, and you're free to fly around as you desire. Now, getting back, this is a little bit more tricky. The first thing you're going to need to do is target the host ship. Do this by pressing the T button, well, pretty much point it at the one you're trying to go to. From there, and the landing gear button again will do the request to dock. Once you've done that, you'll get the interesting HUD here that's supposed to kind of guide you. Uh, I would have done it a little differently, topic for another day. But from there, what you really just need to know how to do from here, it's really difficult to just line this up by yourself. The easiest way to do it, just go ahead, kind of get right up into the vicinity of where the docking collar is and press and hold down the N key to auto let the AI do it for you, just like auto-landing. Ta-da! It's that much easier. Now, if you're convinced, you'll notice that you've got these X, Y, and Z numbers right here. Those need to all be zeros, and when they are all zeros, congratulations, you're in the docking collar. Line up Z, then line up X, and then just go straight up to line up Y. It's a lot harder than it looks. I've only almost successfully done it once in about an hour of trying. I'm sure eventually people are gonna nail this and it'll be really easy, but it does take practice. So there you have it. I'm not gonna waste a whole bunch of time telling you all kinds of other stuff. It just doesn't need to be there. That said, 313 cargo running. There are a handful of places just tossing out big loads of glaronite and whatnot. So cargo is back. Only a few places, probably going to see some JT-like days there. I'm really excited. So hopefully having a snub fighter to help, take someone with you. You might need it. That said, we have our 10K sub giveaway. When we hit 10,000 subs, we're giving a Perseus away. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Make sure you're entering comments. Every month I pick five names. And when we hit 10,000 of the names drawn, someone's going to win. With that said, share this video with your friends. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all next time.